In question two of this series, we're asked a 1.25 farad capacitor that has an initial voltage of 25 volts is charged with a current that varies with time according to the equation shown here. Find the voltage across the capacitor at one second. To answer this question, we need to use this relationship, where voltage is equal to one over the capacitance times the integral of this function. After taking the integral of this function and dividing it by the capacitance, which is 1.25, we'll have a voltage formula, which we can then use to find the voltage across this capacitor after one second. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute 1.25 into C, which is the charge in farads, where we get voltage is equal to 1 over 1.25 times the integral of this function t times the square root of t squared plus 6.83 dt and the units of this function are in amperes. To integrate this function isn't a one-step process. In fact, you have to use u substitution. Here's what I mean. I'm going to substitute u with this expression t squared plus 6.83 and differentiate u implicitly like this. u is equal to t squared plus 6.83. Differentiating with respect to t, I end up with du over dt is equal to 2t, I use the power rule here, plus the derivative of a constant, in this case 6.83, is 0. Solving for dt, I end up with dt is equal to du over 2t. So on my next line, I'll substitute where this was t squared plus 6.83 with u, and dt with du over dt. Look what happens. 1 over 1.25 times the integral of t, the square root of u, this dt has become du over 2t. This t and this t will cancel out, leaving you with half du. This half can be pulled out of the integral to make the integration process easier, giving us v is equal to 1 over 1.25, that part hasn't changed, pulling out this half times the integral of u to the power of half. I'm going to switch this from radical form to exponents with fractions. u to the power of half du. This now is easier to integrate than what we had originally. The integral of u to the power of 1 over 2 is u to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 and the sum of 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 giving us the following equation of course I set u is equal to t squared plus 6.83 so I'm going to switch this with t squared plus 6.83 there you go I have found the voltage formula for this function now you can clean this up a little bit and here's how to do that. I'm going to multiply 1.125 with 2 with 3 and that will be my new denominator. Let's use my calculator. 1.25 times 2 times 3 that gives me 15 over 2 and that is equal to 7.5. So we have V is equal to 2 times t squared plus 6.83 to the power of 3 over 2 over, and that fraction was 15 over 2. This means that if we divide this with that, we'll end up with 4 t squared plus 6.83 to the power of 3 over 2 over 15. And of course, since this integral is an indefinite integral, I'll put a constant. Instead of using C, I'll use K. Usually you use C, but I'll use K because if I use C, then it might be ambiguous since charge has the unit C. Now I need to find this constant, and the way I can do that is by substituting V is equal to 25, and we were told originally that voltage is 25 initially. So I'll substitute T is equal to 0 and V is equal to 25 into here. 25 is equal to 4, 0 to the power of 2 is 0, 
So we have 4 over 15, 6.83 to the power of 3 over 2 plus k. I'm going to bring this term over. Using my calculator once more, 25 minus 4 over 15 times 6.83 to the power of 1.5, which is the equivalent of 3 over 2. That gives me 20.24, or simply 20.2. So k is equal to 20.2. Now all I have to do is substitute this k back into here and set t is equal to 1 second. Here's how to do that. Setting t is equal to 1 gives us, I'll use my calculator, starting up here, 4 times 1 to the power of 2 is 1. So 7.83 to the power of 1.5 divided by 15 plus 20.2. And the voltage has to be 26, 26 volts. And there you have it. That is how to solve electric circuit problems with integrals. Make sure to watch question three for an example about current in an inductor.